a very warm welcome for this lecture lecture number 10 this is part 6 of uninformed and informed search strategies in ai in this lecture we are going to continue our discussion of hill climbing algorithm in the previous lecture we have seen what is hill climbing algorithm we have seen a problem we have seen simple hill climbing algorithm and then a variation called as steepest ascent hill climbing algorithm let us now continue with our discussion of Uh, hill climbing algorithm now uh, this is a these are the different regions of the state space that we had discussed in the last lecture okay in this lecture we are going to explore each of these uh, regions in depth okay so uh, this is called as a shoulder this is a plateau formation it's a basically a plateau flat surface but then uh, here there is an uh, upgoing edge okay sharp edge that goes upward so this is basically a shoulder we are already uh, we already know what is a global maxima current state is basically a state state uh, of the agent agent is currently present in a particular state and that state is called as a current state okay and this is called as a local maxima and this is a special uh, local maxima which is called as a flat local maxima or sometimes it is called as a plateau okay so we are going to explore this in in depth local maxima as we already have seen local maximum is a state which is better than its neighboring states but there is also another state which is higher than it and that is nothing but global maxima global maxima is the best possible state in the entire state space landscape it has the highest value of objective function current state is the state in the landscape diagram where the agent is currently present and the flat local maxima which is also called as a plateau is a flat space in the landscape where all the neighboring states of the current state they have the same value and shoulder is again it's a plateau only but this plateau region has an uphill edge now with respect to these components or the parts of state space uh, landscape let us see now what are the major problems which are faced by the hill climbing algorithm now one of the major drawbacks of this hill climbing algorithm is that the algorithm gets stuck at local maxima so that it cannot come back right so uh, in this picture this is a local maxima the the Uh, the agent it starts say from here and it goes on climbing up the hill every time selecting a better state and it reaches here where at this point the neighboring states appear to be of lower value so it assumes that algorithm assumes that it has reached the goal state but it fails to realize that this goal state that it has reached it is local goal or local maximum it is with respect to one branch of the tree it fails to realize that in the sub, sub uh, in the in the uh, state space there is somewhere uh, th th there is another branch okay somewhere else at some distance and that branch has a node okay which has the highest value of heuristic compared to all other nodes so that's a global maxima so this is local maxima the solution to this uh, local maxima is nothing but back tracking technique okay so what we can do is we can just maintain a list of all the nodes that we traverse to reach this location okay for example suppose we started from here okay we we went to this node then here then here then here and finally we reached here so we can actually maintain a list of all those nodes that we traverse to reach here and then using that list we can backtrack back to the the original place and then we can ultimately try a different path maybe we may reach the solution or the local maximum so that is basically a back tracking technique so here we create a list of promising paths so that the algorithm can back track the search space and explore other paths as well okay so this is a uh, it's a improvisation to hill climbing algorithm where we uh, uh, we enable back tracking procedure now second disadvantage of hill climbing algorithm is plateau formation we have already seen what is plateau this is a plateau region or a flat maximum it's the flat area of the search space where all the neighboring states of the current state they contain the same value okay so all the suppose the 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 
uh, your agent is present in this particular state all the neighboring states here they have the same value or for that matter agent was here and so far it was just climbing up the hill it came here and after reaching here it realizes that all the other neighboring nodes or all the sibling uh, all the child nodes of that particular node or all the child nodes they have the same value of heuristic as a result you will see a flat line like this so in such cases the algorithm does not find any best direction to move so which which child to choose if all the child or if all the successor nodes of the current node if all of them have the same value there is a uh, there is a confusion which child node to prefer okay so that is another drawback of your uh, hill climbing algorithm now solution to this is to take big steps or very little steps while searching to solve the problem so what we can do is we can take a big jump so we can randomly go to a different state randomly we can go to a different state and we can start you know or we can try search from that particular point so this is called as big step or big jump this can this can be a solution to plateau but again there is a research that is required for this okay it may give you a solution but it may also uh, not give you the optimal solution so basically what is the meaning of this big step or the big jump is that we randomly select a state which is far away from the current state so it is possible that the algorithm could find a non plateau region but this technique please remember taking big step is a technique only to come out of this uh, you know come out of this bottleneck which is called as uh, plateau okay once you come out of this bottleneck or once you come out of this plateau uh, condition okay once you reach non plateau condition again your normal hill climbing method will work so it may not ensure you that it will give you the optimal solution or the lo uh, global maxima and the third uh, problem with your hill climbing is the ridges okay now you can see this is a ridge what is a ridge a ridge is basically a special form of local maximum okay it has an area which is higher than its surrounding area now you can see this is higher this is higher and this is higher than the surrounding areas okay so it has an area which is higher than the surrounding areas but itself it has a slope and cannot be reached in a single move now the solution to this ridges is that with the use of bidirectional search or by moving in different directions we can improve this problem so Uh, we have already uh, seen so far whatever searches that we have seen they are all forward direction searches there is also a backward direction search and there is something called as a bi directional search which is carried out from both the sides from the goal towards the initial state and from the initial towards the goal state it's called as bi directional so you can employ such bi directional search mechanisms and uh, you can try moving in different directions okay so we can improve this particular problem Okay. Now let us see an example to demonstrate the plateau condition in the block world problem. Now this is a block world problem. What is a block world problem for kindergarten uh, uh, children? Okay, they usually have these color cubes. Okay, they are of same sizes. These cubes are made of same sizes, different colors, and each cube has one alphabet which is printed on it. Okay, so these kids. Uh, kindergarten kids they are given these blocks and then they are asked to uh, pile up the blocks one over the other and so on right so this is basically a block world now what are the different actions which are possible in this block world is that see the first action is any block can be simply removed and it can be placed on to the ground now whenever you are going to remove this a which is currently present on top of h the action is called as unstack action okay whenever you are going to remove this a block from top of another block called as h the action is called as unstack action whereas if you want to place a block on top of another block then it's called as a stack action okay now if you want to pick up a block say you want to pick this block up the action is called as pick up okay then there is another action called as put down put down is an action wherein you are see basically pick up is an action in which you know the block is residing directly on the table okay pick up is an action where the block is directly residing on the table and you are picking up 
directly now if you want to pick up a block from top of another block then that is not a pick up action that is called as a unstack action similarly there is another action called as put down action put down is an action wherein a block is directly placed back onto the table not on top of another block if you are placing a block on top of another block then that is called as a stack action so basically there are four actions or four operators that can be used in this block word problem stack action wherein one block is placed on top of another block unstack action a block is removed from top of another block pick up action a block is removed directly from the ground block was riding on the uh, uh, residing on the on the on the table directly so uh, picking up the block directly from the table that's called as pick up action and put down action is the one wherein you are placing the block directly on the table not on top of any other block so these are the four actions now this is the initial state that is given to us and this is the gold state initial state is p gold state is z now how do we design heuristic function so in this case what we will do we will add one point for every block which is resting on a thing that it must be resting on so you see this gold state these are the correct placement so this these are supposed to be the correct placements so block h should be present on on top of block g so this is the correct placement for block h similarly block g should be placed on top of block f so this is another correct placement why correct placement because this is the desired placement that is uh, this is the desired placement in the goal state right so these are the correct positions of the block so that if the blocks are in this position only then you will reach the goal state similarly the correct placement of c is that c should be present on top of a correct placement of b is that b should be present on top of c correct placement of d is d should be present on top of b e on d f on e g on of uh, g on f and h on g similarly the correct placement of a is that a should not be placed on any other block rather a should be directly residing on the table and h correct placement for h is that h should not have any other block on top of it so h should be clear so these are the correct placements so what we will do for each of the correct placements we will give one point and then we will add up all these points and that will uh, give you the heuristic value for each state now this is the initial state in the initial state we compare the goal state and find out which are the correct placements which are present in the initial state now you see a here is residing on top of h but a should be residing on the table so this is not the correct placement a is a residing on h is not the correct placement for a so you are not going to give any points but if you see here h is residing on g right and in the goal state also h is residing on g so this is supposed to be the correct placement so that's why because this is the correct placement with respect to the goal state for this placement one point is given similarly you can see g should be present on top of f and g is present on top of f in the initial state this is correct placement for g so again another point f should be present on top of e and f is indeed present on top of e so this is correct placement for f so give one point similarly e should be present on d e is indeed present on d in the initial state so this is also correct placement of e so that's why one more point if you see other placements none of the other placements in this initial state are proper comparing the goal state so the heuristic function for the initial state will be just the sum of all the points that you got for correct placements 1 2 3 4 so heuristic value for the state p which is initial state is 4 in the similar manner now all of these are correct placements for the goal state so you will see the heuristic value for the goal state z is 8 because there are eight correct placements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and a itself should be residing on table okay now some students can also consider that h should be clear that means there should not be anything on top of h okay so you could just add one more one over here so that heuristic value also can be 9 what i have done is i have ignored this particular uh, criteria that h should be clear that means there should not be anything on top of h that criteria i have not considered students can consider that criteria and also give one more point for that and you can make here nine okay that is okay okay so now this is the initial state now our aim is we are going to use the hill climbing technique and our aim is from this initial state somehow 
by using those operations okay of pick up put down stack and unst unstack by using those operations we are supposed to get to this stage pull step okay so now what is the most desirable placement that can be done or which is the most desirable move that can be done from the initial state at this point there is only one particular possible move that is this a which is residing on top of h okay or this is the topmost block you can simply remove it and place it on the table so this is the only one move that you can make so that you somehow move from the initial state to some other intermediate state so initially we are given the initial state so graphically the tree generated so far is this that p is the state initial state and heuristic value for p is 4 now from this initial state the most natural move that we can make okay so this is the initial state from this initial state the most natural move that we can make is placing this block a onto the ground and once we place this a onto the ground that's a most you know obvious move that you can make there is no other move once you do that from p you go to state q so q is a state wherein a which was on top of the stack is uh, is placed now onto the table right now you calculate what is the heuristic value for this state q so you will notice that the correct placements here are these are the correct placements okay you can uh, you can just see a should be on table a is also residing on table h should be on g h is on g g should be on f g is present on f similarly according to the goal state all this is according to the goal state e should be on d e is on d f should be on e f is on e and remember uh, although in the in the previous slide although in the previous slide i had ignored this that h should be clear and i had written here 8 okay i think in the in the calculation that i made here i have considered that more as well that means according to the goal state h should be top, topmost block and there should not be anything on top of h so i have given one mark here one point here for the correct placement so what you can do is since i have you know missed out since i have missed out uh, you know one point from here i have missed out this it is my mistake what you can do is while you solving it you can give one mark for this correct placement as well so the goal state will have not 8 but 9 heuristic value remember this h is also correctly placed so please give one mark for this also which i have not done okay so now with that with that if you if you calculate the correct placements of the blocks 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 there are 6 correct placements so the you just add up those values so heuristic value for the state q is 6 so so far what we, we have done from the initial state we have we have got a new state q now hill climbing algorithm finds out okay after after generating a child of p that is q after generating child of p that is q hill climbing algorithm checks whether this is a goal state that is required is this a goal state no goal state was given to us then next it finds out whether the heuristic value of this node the new node q that is generated is it better than the current node yes it is better why because the value of heuristic for q is 6 and value of heuristic for p is 4 so 6 is better than 4 so whatever we have done the tree that is generated till now i am just showing you so initially we started with state p heuristic value was 4 and from p okay there was only one move possible that is the topmost block from here that is a was placed onto the ground by doing that by applying that move we generated q after generating q the uh, the, uh, the hill climbing algorithm checked whether this is a goal state this is not a goal state then it checked whether this state is better than the uh, the current state that is p yes it was better so hill climbing algorithm moved from p to q okay now we will take this particular state as a reference now from this state what are the other moves possible okay so from this state q there are only three states which are possible one this h which is there okay in the current state q this h which is there you can remove it and you can place it on top of a so that is this or this h which is there you can remove and don't place it on top of a rather place it on the ground so this is the second possibility and third kind of foolish possibility but yes 
all the foolish moves are also considered a that was all, that was placed on the ground you are moving it back on top of it so you are again going back right so that is also another so there are three possible moves that can you that you can make from this state okay so after doing those respective moves the states are r s and t and after calculating the heuristic function values you uh, realize that heuristic value for r is also 4 heuristic value for s is also 4 heuristic value for t is also 4 okay so all this what has happened i will show you graphically so from p we generated q the heuristic value is better so we climbed the hill algorithm selected q because it was better but when q was expanded and when the child nodes r s t which were generated r s t were generated by applying those three rules okay we realized that the heuristic value of all these three r s as well as t heuristic value of all these three are same okay so as a result one thing is very clear that the algorithm will stop here it cannot proceed to the any of these nodes why because all these nodes okay their heuristic value is lesser than the current node so these any of these nodes none of the nodes are better than the current node right so this is a kind of local maxima so algorithm will stop and say that it has found solution and the solution is q right why because all the neighboring uh, states of q they are of the lower value so q is highest compared to all of them so the algorithm will stop and it will say the goal is found okay uh, that is the state q fine but in reality what has happened in reality the actual goal, no goal node has heuristic value 8 or then if you consider that one condition which i told you the goal nodes it's supposed to have heuristic value 9 okay so what has happened is we have reached the local maxima and this is a special kind of local maxima see we have reached this particular situation see from this was p p was here right the value of heuristic was 4 and from here you went here the value of heuristic became 6 this is state q and now this is r this is s and this is t all of them they have the same values so where have you reached this is basically a local maxima but it's a special local maxima it is called as flat local maxima or it's a plateau condition so i, I had just taken this example to demonstrate how plateau condition can occur in hill climbing algorithm so the algorithm will stop here and say that the goal node is q okay it will give the answer as q with the heuristic value 6 this is local maxima it's a flat local maxima whereas the global maxima is nothing but uh, node with value 8 so this is the disadvantage of the local search algorithm okay so to end with hill climbing okay uh, we will now see what are the disadvantages and advantages of hill climbing the advantages of hill climbing is that this hill climbing algorithm it can be used for continuous as well as discrete domains many a times the values are continuous values or many a times there are range values or discrete values so hill climbing is the algorithm which can be used where the data is continuous or data is discrete so both for both the domains it can be used okay this is the only advantage but disadvantages are many okay the first disadvantage is hill climbing is not an efficient method why it is not suitable to the problems where the value of heuristic function drops off suddenly when the solution may be in sight okay like in the previous example uh, uh, the solution was in sight from initial state p whose value was 4 we went to the next state q whose value was 6 that means we were moving we were climbing up the hill and suddenly what happened the value dropped r s t the three child nodes of q all were having lesser value than the current node so the values dropped and we ended up in local maxima so this is a, not an efficient method especially in the situations where the heuristic value of the function it drops off suddenly when the solution may be in sight okay local so since it's a local search method second thing is it's a local search method since it's a local search method what can happen local search means what if there is a big uh, state space in that state space there will be so many branches right what hill climbing does it it only narrows down its search to one particular branch okay so once it enters a particular branch it will go deeper and deeper and deeper and once it gets stuck it declares that it has got solution which is a local maxima whereas the actual solution might lie in some other branch why this is happening because 
we are doing localized search this hill climbing is a local search algorithm it does not search all the branches okay simultaneously rather it searches for only one branch so the uh, so, so the candidates which are you know eligible for the further expansion are not uh, collected globally okay they are from only one branch so as a result it can get caught up in the local maxima or local minima and we have already seen the solutions to local maxima problem is backtracking to some earlier node and trying different direction but a better one is called as simulated annealing now simulated annealing is one of the method that can be used okay schedule based method okay now simulated annealing is an algorithm which yields both efficiency and completeness now in mechanical terms you might, you might be familiar with annealing process of hardening a metal or glass to a high temperature and then cooling gradually so this allows the metal to reach a low energy crystalline state this is called as annealing so the same procedure can be used in simulated annealing in which the algorithm picks a random move instead of picking the best move so it randomly picks out a particular move now if the random move it improves the state then it follows the same path okay otherwise the algorithm follows the path which has a probability of less than 1 or it moves downhill and it chooses another path so this is basically a simulated annealing technique which can improvise the hill climbing algorithm right so that is it for today's lecture in the next lecture we are going to explore global search techniques we have seen what is local search technique we are going to explore global search techniques we will start with something called as best first search followed by a star problem reduction constraint satisfaction and we will end this unit with mean and analysis so till then see you thank you